any um, reformation and transformation um, project, it's a change pro project, isn't it? And when you're managing change, the levels of challenges um, are, are varied, but I think the most important aspect of um, change, which can become a challenge but needs to be managed up front, is that ultimately change affects people. And we need to take people on the journey with us so that we embrace together the fact that we're changing together. All the other things are quote unquote things, systems, statues, information, so on and so forth. But it's people we need to take on this journey. So I'm counting on us collectively as Ghanaians, our pride, our dedication, and most importantly, our passion to driving, uh, driving us the desire to minimize the challenge of change and rather embrace it and positively move with it. Pretty much all stakeholders, oh gosh, their, their leagues, their supporters, their fans, their, 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 their lower leagues, their premier leagues, their different divisions, it's, it's pretty Women's much it. Oh, it goes without. When I say league, it's not just men. League is all of us, right? I think we, 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 we hopefully will cease to look at um, football and think men and not women, but look at football and think everyone involved in football, right? Because when Honorable Saki, for instance, was sharing her, her childhood experience, she talked about her father's ritual of watching football, but all of them being dressed in their kits, supporting Accra Hearts of Oak. He didn't say, my child who's a girl is a different football, right? So I think that's it's an opportunity for all of us to look at football as a collective for all Ghanaians, not for some Ghanaians. And women's football is part of that collective.